Friends, nowadays 90% people consume tea. But do you know how beneficial tea is for you? We, and you have often heard that drinking tea is harmful, but you have heard it wrong if you consume tea in the right way. If you drink it, it can eliminate many diseases from your body. Today in this video I will tell you how to make tea and what things you have to use in it, when to drink tea and how much quantity to drink and at what time you should not drink tea and at what time you should drink tea. If you know about all these things now, then this tea will become like nectar for you. Friends, if you consume water or drink anything in the wrong way, it becomes poison for you. If you consume too much of anything, that increases your strength. It is also harmful for you. Therefore, drink or eat everything in the right manner. It can act as nectar for you and keep you away from diseases. So friends, let's start. Once a Buddhist monk, who was a great expert in Ayurveda, was giving a sermon related to health in a city. There, one person from the gathering stood up and asked, Monk, Monk, I have a question in my mind. Please satisfy my mind by answering it. Buddhist monk said to the young man, Ask son, what is your question? Then the young man asked, said, Monk, I have heard that tea is poison for us, but all the people I have seen drink tea, but still they remain healthy. If tea is poison, then why do we consume it? Please answer my question. The Buddhist monk told him that, son, tea is not poison, but if you drink tea in the wrong way, then it definitely becomes poison for you. Then the monk tells him to the young man, that, son, today I will tell you in detail about tea, and if you use the three things told by me in tea, then this tea will become nectar for you. Then the monk tells the young man, it is said that, son, two to three cups of tea daily is very beneficial for your health because there are many types of antioxidants in tea which provide different types of benefits to your health. But if you do these three things, which I will tell you, if you put them in your tea, then the tea you have will keep you away from many diseases and your immunity power will also increase manifold. Then the monk says to all of them that, son, the first thing that I tell you while making tea is to put it in the tea, that is ginger. Ginger is a medicine, which people often add to tea while making tea. In Ayurvedic, ginger is considered one of the most important. It has even been described as a complete treasure of medicine in itself. In Ayurveda, it is, it is recommended as a powerful digestive because it stimulates the digestive fire and increases appetite. Its nutrients easily reach all parts of the body. In Ayurveda, Ginger is used to treat joint pain and nausea caused by motion. Ginger is also used in the treatment of digestive problems. Ginger has been used as a digestive juice by ancient civilizations for thousands of years. It helps in removing gas from the stomach, prevents flatulence, and also helps in reducing flatulence. Relieves cramps, relaxes muscles, and provides relief from indigestion. The ingredients in this herb also help in reducing cholesterol, controlling blood pressure, improving blood flow, and preventing blocked blood vessels and blood clots. Do the work of all these things reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke. Ginger contains a very powerful substance called gingerol, which reduces joint and muscle pain, and ginger is a great treatment for serious and persistent inflammatory diseases. The nerves of the oxygen air vessels of the lungs get swollen, and they become sensitive to various substances, which leads to caesarez. Hence, it eliminates these two, and along with them, ginger is helpful in the treatment of asthma in two ways. It is beneficial by first inhibiting the enzymes that constrict the muscles of the airways, and secondly, by activating other enzymes that relax the airways. Apart from this, ginger reduces swelling inside your body and reduces pain. It provides relief from joint pain, increases your immunity, reduces your weight, and strengthens your digestive system. Hence, you should put ginger in your tea. Then, Buddhist monks tell the second thing that you should add, cinnamon, in your tea. Cinnamon is a medicine which can also be used in our food. Cinnamon has properties like protein, calcium, magnesium, zinc, vitamin iron, phosphorus, manganese, copper, carbohydrate, antioxidant, antibacterial, and antifungal, which keep us away from many problems. 
If you add it to tea, it helps you in reducing your blood sugar and produces a mild aroma in the tea. Adding it gives a different kind of sweetness to the tea. There are elements inside cinnamon, which help in reducing the blood sugar in your body. If any infection occurs, it helps you fight it. And it works to reduce your blood sugar and also works to reduce blood pressure. It helps in opening the clogged arteries, which improves blood circulation to the heart and also reduces the risk of heart attack. It is common to have problem of bone and joint pain with increasing age. In such a situation, it is very effective for you. Sometimes, due to muscle tension or disturbance in blood flow, pain in the nerves starts. In such a situation, this cinnamon helps to eliminate pain. If you have gained weight, then it controls your weight. It helps in cutting your stomach easily. If you are troubled with stomach ache, then cinnamon is very beneficial in that too. And it boosts metabolism. This and many diseases related to liver and cancer can be cured. Small cardamom works to strengthen the nerves of your body. It keeps your digestive system strong. Your blood circulation remains good and along with this, your body. Consumption of cardamom increases energy. It gives you relief from venereal diseases. It eliminates serious diseases like cancer. Anti-inflammatory elements in it are effective in fighting mouth cancer and skin cancer. Magnesium and potassium are found in high amounts in cardamom, due to which the blood circulation of the body always remains normal and keeps the blood pressure under control. If you are troubled by gas, acidity, and stomach problems, then definitely consume cardamom in tea. If you have respiratory diseases, then consumption of cardamom juice is for you will become like nectar. This is because the nature of cardamom is warming and it is also effective in asthma. According to Ayurveda, the antioxidant elements present in cardamom help in reducing the sugar that is insulin level of the body. The antioxidants present in cardamom help in reducing cornea disease that is allergy and inflammation. It helps in getting relief from the problem of cold, cough, or sore throat. In such a situation, green cardamom will be very beneficial. Consuming cardamom helps in getting rid of the problem of stomach ulcer, because daily consumption of cardamom helps in digestion. It provides relief from gastric ulcer-related problems because cardamom extract completely reduces the size of gastric ulcer by at least 50%. Apart from this, if one cardamom is eaten immediately after a meal, it removes bad breath. And the problem of dental cavities gets eliminated, and the problem of vomiting and nausea also goes away. Consuming cardamom extract reduces the risk of liver-related diseases. The enzymes present in cardamom extract reduce cholesterol, and which cardamom is also very beneficial for those who suffer from frequent nervousness. Cardamom contains antioxidant elements which normalize blood circulation, which keeps the mind calm. Cardamom prevents your weight from increasing and reduces your obesity. Use of cardamom. By doing this, fungal infections, food poisoning, and digestive-related diseases are completely eliminated, hence you must add small cardamom in the tea. Then the Buddhist monk says to the young man, Son, now understand how you have to make tea. If you want to make one cup of tea, then first of all you have to take two cups of water, then heat that water well. After that, add half a spoon of chopped ginger in it, and after that add one-fourth of cinnamon powder in it, and cut a small cardamom and put it in it. Then you have to cook that tea well for a long time, let it boil well, then you have to get half a cup of milk in it, and let it cook on low flame. By cooking the tea for a long time, the antioxidant elements present in it get absorbed into the water and milk, and these three things, that is ginger, cinnamon, and cardamom, also mix well in the water due to which your tea is becomes nectar. You do not have to use sugar in your tea because sugar is a sweet poison. If you add sugar in your tea, then it is very harmful for you. So if you want to sweeten your tea, then you can add jaggery in it. If you can drink weak that is without sugar tea, then it is very good. But if you cannot drink weak tea, then you can add jaggery in it. Then you have to filter this tea and take it out in a cup. You have to drink it and you have to drink it only after it cools, down a little. Then the monk tells the young man that son, you have to take care of every single thing 
and that you should never drink tea immediately after eating food because it is harmful for your body. A compound called tannin is found in tea. It reduces the ability to absorb iron in the body. Hence, it is forbidden to drink tea immediately after a meal, and you should never drink it after two or three hours. Do not drink more than a cup of tea because too much tea can cause anxiety and stress. Tea contains caffeine and excessive consumption of caffeine leads to brain-related diseases. Consuming excessive amounts of tea increases anxiety, stress, and restlessness. Gives, along with this, excessive consumption of tea causes sleep and heart disease. Although tea is helpful in heart disease, but due to caffeine present in tea, its excessive consumption can cause heart disease and insomnia. Excessive consumption of tea can cause nausea. Complaints arise and it can cause heartburn. The caffeine present in tea can increase the amount of gastric acid in the stomach, which can cause a burning sensation in the chest. Hence, people suffering from acidity should not consume tea. Pregnancy. You should also not consume tea because it reduces the weight of children. It has a bad effect on health, therefore you should never consume too much tea. You just have to consume two or three cups of tea a day. By drinking this tea, you get five very tremendous benefits. The first of these is that your digestive system remains fine because a special element called catechin is found in tea. It helps you in reducing the stomach-related problems caused due to swelling. Its second advantage is that it relieves you from your diabetes problem. Its third advantage is that it is beneficial for your hair and skin. Antioxidant elements are found in it, which help you eliminate toxins from the body and start the healing process. It is great for the skin as it helps the body fight skin infections and spots. It helps in combating the effects of aging. Its fourth benefit is that it strengthens your immunity. This tea is rich in antioxidants, which helps you in strengthening the immunity. Strong immunity helps the body. The caffeine present in this tea keeps your brain alert, due to which there is continuous flow of energy in your body. Its fifth benefit is for your brain. Apart from keeping the brain cells healthy, it also helps in improving the blood flow in it. Drinking this tea is very useful. It sharpens the mind and enhances your memory, and you become more alert and active than before. Friends, I hope you must have learned a lot from this story. How did you like this story? Do tell us in the comment section and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget it. See you in the next story. Till then, take care.